So hello and welcome. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can uh, use uh, one button uh, to hide and uh, show an object. Uh, and right now I am going to show you uh, exactly what we are going to be doing. So we are going to have something like this and I have one object and I have a second object and with the first object I have two buttons to hide and uh, show and I can do this like so and on the object uh, 2 I have only one button which is toggle and if I click it is going to hide if I click one more time it is going to show and uh, so on so this is what we are going to be doing today uh, so uh, I'm in the Adobe Animate and I will go with 800 by 800 but you can choose any number and I want this to be HTML5 canvas and I will just hit uh, create uh, now I am going to uh, get the rectangle tool uh, in here and I am going to choose some color. I can go with orange and I am going to draw something like this. I am holding shift to stay proportional. Uh, I will get the text tool and I am going to choose a white color and I am just going to write something like uh, object uh, 1 or whatever. And I am going to eyeball it to the center like so. Now I am going to duplicate the object so I will select it like so. Uh, I'm going to hold Alt or Option on the Mac and uh, I'm going to duplicate it like so and I'm going to hold Shift to stay on the same line and I will double click. This is going to be object number 2 and I can even change the color so I will click and this one is going to be blue like so. And this one, uh, the, the orange one, we are going to have two buttons. One button which is going to be Hide and one button which is going to be Show and this one we are going to have a button which is going to be Toggle uh, which is going to hide and show it. So basically, uh, I am going to create uh, these buttons and I can be on the same layer. I can do all of the graphics on the layer one. Uh, so right now I am going to create uh, this, uh, this button and I am going to get the text tool and this is going to be white text and I am going to uh, write uh, show and I am going to duplicate this, so like this with alt and uh, this one is going to be height like so and uh, I'm going to duplicate this uh, one more time like so and in here and this one is going to be uh, this one is going to be toggle so I'm just going to write toggle like so if I want I can put it a little bit to the center with my arrows but I'm not going to be worried about it and if I want I can maybe change the color of this uh, show to the orange uh, but yeah uh, now uh, I want to convert all of them to the to the symbols. Uh, so one by one, I'm going to select them, but make sure that you are going to select everything because if you are going to select only something like this, the part, you are not going to select all of the object. So I'm going to select it uh, F8, or you can go to the modify convert to symbol, and uh, I can call this symbol one. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with this one F8 symbol two. Uh, the same thing with this one F8 symbol three. Uh, the height F8 symbol 4 and this one uh, F8 symbol 5. Now I will go uh, in here and I will click on this object 1 and you can see that it is movie clip and there is a possibility to put an instance name and I am going to call this to be orange uh, orange 1 for example and this is the name by which we are going to be targeting this with JavaScript. Uh, I'm going to click on this one and this is going to be uh, blue one and uh, I will click on this one. This is going to be button uh, show and these names uh, you can choose whatever names. Okay, uh, this one is going to be button uh, hide and the uh, last one is going to be button uh, like button uh, toggle like so. Uh, now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to rename this layer. So I'm going to double click and this one is going to be uh, this one is going to be code. Uh, now uh, I'm going to uh, get the, the name of the show. So it, it was a button a show. So I'm going to copy this and I will click on this one and this is orange one. So I'm going to remember this and I will go to the I will right click. I will go to I will go to the actions and I will zoom in a little bit with, with control, control and mouse wheel and I'm going to type uh, this uh, button show on or you can uh, type add the event listener like so uh, but uh, I am going to just write on it is going to do the same uh, and we want to have this on uh, click and we are going to call some uh, function and we are going to call a function uh, for example show 
show object and uh, f like so uh, but this name uh, is uh, arbitrary and you can choose whatever name you want and uh, right now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, type uh, dot and i will type bind and uh, uh, i will type this and basically this uh, bind this uh, will allow me to put uh, this this uh, in the functions okay i will explain later on but basically right now i'm going to type uh, function and uh, i'm going to copy uh, this function so i'm going to hit ctrl c and ctrl v and uh, the parentheses and the curly parentheses and right now if i want to target something for example this button uh, show if i would uh, write something like this ctrl c ctrl v uh, right now i can do this uh, i have no problem to do this to write this because i have this bind this but if i if i'm going to get rid of this bind this uh, i wouldn't be able to use it okay so that's why that's why i have it like so but what do I want to what do I want to do? Uh, if I'm going to click uh, this button show on click, uh, I would like to type uh, this orange one visible is going to be false. Okay, uh, we, we, we will have to, we, uh, later on. I am going to change this to true, but I just want to make sure that this is going to be working. So I'm going to hit Control Enter to see this in the browser and right now if I'm going to click on this show uh, the object is going to disappear I'm going to hit F12 uh, in the Google Chrome uh, and I'm going to refresh this and I will click and to make sure that I don't have uh, any that, that I don't have any errors uh, now I am going to uh, go back to my code with F9 and I'm going to change this to to be true so basically, if I'm going to click on the button show, I want uh, this orange one visible to be true. And basically right now, if I'm going to click, nothing is going to happen, uh, but I'm not going to have any, any error. And what I want to do right now is uh, I'm going to copy all of this, so Control C, and I'm going to paste it in here, Control V, and I'm going to change this from uh, button uh, show to button uh, height, like so. So this button height on click, and uh, right now we are going to uh, call other function. We are going to call a uh, function which is going to be uh, height object f. Uh, so basically, I will have to change the name of the function. So I'm going to uh, get rid of this and I'm going to paste it in here height object f. So function height object f. And right now, this orange one visible is going to be false like so and i hope that this makes sense because this is uh, this is pretty simple and i'm going to hit Control enter and one more time f12 to make sure that i don't have errors and if i'm going to click show nothing is going to happen but if i'm going to click hi click hide it is going to hide and if i right now click show it is going to appear and right now i can uh, hide it and show it okay uh, now i i am going to do the same thing but only with the one button so uh, I will click in here. This is going to be button toggle. So I'm going to copy this name, Control C, and I'm going to go in here, Control V, and maybe uh, I can uh, I can create some kind of uh, comments. So I'm going to type slash slash, and this is going to be uh, two buttons like uh, like so. And let me let me copy this one more time in here so uh here is when where my two buttons starts but here is where my two buttons ends and i can maybe put an uh, asterisk maybe in here like so but this is just uh, for you to to see this visually and right now i can uh hit slash slash and i can type one button and uh, something something like this and now we can go ahead and we can code uh, so one more time i am going to i am going to click on this uh on this uh, button and copy this name because I don't want to have an error because of the misspelling of something. And I'm going to with enter create a little bit of space and I'm going to type one more time this uh, button toggle on. I want to be on uh, click and I'm going to uh, call the function which is going to be toggle uh, toggle object f for example and i'm going to type uh, bind uh, and this like like so and uh, these uh, semicolons 
I say it always, but yeah, uh, they are optional in the JavaScript. Now I'm going to create the function. So I'm going to hit control C and I'm going to type function uh, control V. And now uh, what do I want to, what do I want to happen? So I can create some kind of variable uh, and the variable I'm going to uh, put uh, outside the function. So I'm going to be in here, but I can be also in here. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to type uh, let, or you can type uh, var if you want, but uh, this is like the modern JavaScript uh, with the let. So I'm going to type let, and I can type very simply my number uh, is going to be equal to uh, zero. And now uh, in this function, I'm going to type uh, if my uh, number is equal to zero. And you can see that uh, right now I said um, let my number is equal to zero with one equal sign, because when you have one equal sign, you are like uh, putting the value. And when you have uh, two equal signs, or if you had uh, three equal signs, it means that it is comparing. So if my number is equal to zero, I'm not uh, setting that my number is zero. If I would put this, uh, if my number is, for example, two, I am not setting that my number is two. I'm just comparing if my number is two. Okay, so uh, if my number is uh, zero, what I want to happen is uh, that uh, I'm going to uh, hide. Uh, let me let me go in here, and this is uh, blue one. So I will go uh, in here, and uh, so if my number uh, is equal to zero, I want uh, this blue one visible to be false, like so. And then I'm going to uh, type that uh, my uh, number is going to be equal to uh, one. Okay, and uh, then I can type uh, else. And else I want uh, this blue one uh, visible to be true. And I'm going to change my number to zero. And I will explain to you in a second why we are doing something like this. So this is going to be like, so I'm going to hit control enter. And if I'm going to click, it is going to disappear. If I click one more time, it is going to appear and uh, like so. And if I'm going to hit F12, we are not going to have any errors. Uh, so basically, what is going to happen is that uh, I have this even listener on this button toggle and I have the click even listener. We are going to call this function toggle object F and we have this bind this. And then uh, I have created a variable. Uh, I can put this variable also uh, in uh, here. It doesn't matter. And uh, I have my variable, which uh, right now has a value of zero. And I said that if uh, this number, my number is going to be zero, and at the beginning it is zero, and at the beginning my, uh, my blue one is visible. So if the, if the value is zero and I will click, this blue one visible is going to be false. So it, it, we are going to hide this. And then we are going to change my number to number one. Okay. And uh, then if I click one more time uh, on, 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 the, on the button, uh, this condition is not going to be true anymore because I have changed my number to one. So it is not going to be doing this with this condition, but it will go to the else. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, I, I, I can even uh, change this, uh, for example, else if, and I can put uh, in here uh, that uh, else if my number is equal to one, uh, then I want uh, this to happen. So control enter, and it is going to be, it is going to be working anyway. And, uh, and yeah, so uh, basically, uh, one more time, I will try to explain this. Uh, I have uh, I have uh, hide it, and I cha I change this uh, number to number one. So if I click one more time, we are not going to call this if one, uh, but we are going to call this, 
and uh, in this one we have this blue one visible is true so it is going to it is going to show it but then i will change my number to zero so if i click one more time uh the number is going to be zero and that's why we are going to call this one but the number will be will change on the one so next next time i will click the number is going to be one so it is not going to go with this condition but it will go with this condition and it is going it will go uh like this forever so control enter and uh, with this one we have this uh, like so and uh, with this one we have this uh, like this so uh, maybe this is not the best way how you can do something like this maybe there can be uh, some easier way i'm not a professional with the javascript uh, i'm just learning uh, but i just wanted to show you something like this so if you have watched this uh, until the end let me know in the comments and uh, i hope that you have learned something and yeah, this is it for this tutorial and uh, I hope that I will see you in some other tutorials. Thank you. Goodbye.